Hi y'all, it's Trisha with Trans West Trailers and today I'm going to show you how to hook up your gooseneck horse trailer to your truck. It's really simple and easy. Uh, I've got a tip for you too, so that way you're not pulling back and forth and missing the mark. Line up that ball with the bolts on your tailgate. If you'll come with me, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Okay guys, you'll notice here we've got these three bolts on the tailgate of this truck. The cool thing is, it'll line you right up there. Now if you've got a, a bed liner on here, or obviously a different brand of truck, those bolts might be uh, put on here a little bit differently. But if you'll look, you'll see that you've got a perfect alignment there for that turnover ball. And so all you do is you're backing this truck up, you line up these bolts with that coupler. If you don't have these bolts, go ahead and get yourself a little bit of white out, a sticker, some nail polish, something. Give yourself a little cheater mark. It just makes it so much easier. That's one of my tips and hints for you to get a perfect connection every time. your jack handle if it's not already attached. Some of these trailers will have them right underneath the neck. Simple and easy to use. Grab hold of this, put it in, start dropping your trailer down on that ball. Be sure to bring that dolly leg all the way up as far as it can go. There she goes. Then you want to come back in here and bring that foot up. Now these are spring loaded, so I'd recommend that you put your foot on here just to kind of slow down that action because it will grab you and get you if you're not careful. Pull this out. Twist, turn to the side to catch it bring it right back up. Smooth and easy. Turn this back. Make sure it's locked into place. I always take just to be sure for safety's sake. I will go ahead and take our seven pin plug. We're going to hook it up to the truck here. This particular pickup has got a plug in the bed. I highly recommend that. It'll just make it so much easier on you. Uh, the plugs over the bumper work just fine. The only bad part is this cord, as it's hanging down here, you're maneuvering down the road, to turn sharp enough, you can actually take and catch this cord over the bumper of your truck. Some are worse than others, obviously, and if that happens, it'll yank this out of here, or they're just a pain. So, 100 bucks saves you a lot of trouble, a lot of heartache. There we go. We're gonna shut our tailgate now. Always remember to shut your tailgate or else your trailer will take it off for you. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and lock this coupler on here. Come back over here. Let this drop down. You'll see these two holes. You want these holes to align. And for that latch to go all the way down in there. Push it over to the side to make sure that it's locked in nice and tight. Now we're going to take and hook up our safety chains. There we go. Now we'll get the other. This is going to be your breakaway battery cable. This is your third line of defense. You always want to have this hooked up separately from the safety chains. Reason being, heaven forbid, you get in another accident, or you get in another, hopefully I haven't been in one already. If you get in an accident, you want this to jerk out of here 
and it's actually going to lock up those brakes for about five minutes. That way your trailer doesn't pass you while you're going down the road. So you'll take this, latch it on, and now you're set and ready to go. I hope that helped you guys. If you have any questions, be sure to email me or give me a call. Again, it's Trish with TransWest. Y'all take care now.